Hey everybody, it's Trigger Bar Philosopher back out at the range. Today I'm going to be shooting the AK-47. I've got a couple of changes on it that I'd like to discuss. We're going to be reciting it in. So let's get to talking and let's have some fun. Let's go. Okay, so let's start talking about the Zastava ZPAP. M70 rifle that I have here. I have the AK master mount. I've got a pretty cool Russian Molserp sling on here. And I also have a Bakelite Russian magazine, which is a pretty cool, fun little thing that's an addition. And we're going to be uh, also talking a little bit about the primary arms optic. I had some problems with it, and maybe I'll just get right into that. I had to take it off for, for a couple of reasons. I When I was messing around with, with which folding stock, and this is a Galil, folding stock that fits directly into the Yugo Zastava M70. And so when I changed this size, it, it was a little bit shorter than my previous one. I wanted to move the optic just back just a little bit so that I had the right eye of relief. And as I was making some changes, I guess when I was putting it back on, I didn't realize, but I got some buildup of some blue Loctite that was preventing it from coming far enough right. I was a little frustrated with the optic and I just want to see, I, I wasn't able to sight it in because I couldn't move the optic far enough left. And I was at the end of it, and I was like, what the heck is going on? Eventually, I took it off, and I noticed a whole bunch of kind of crud build up. And I think when I put it back on, it was tilted in the wrong direction already, and so couldn't get it far enough back. So now that I've cleaned that off, I'm going to see if I can get this thing sighted in. I'm out here at 100 yards. This thing recommends that you should be sighted in at 50, so I'll just get on paper and do some things like that. also wanted to try out this cool new Bakelite. These have been really difficult to get a hold of. These were sort of the Russian evolution. This is their polymer type magazine that they've been able to use. And they did that in the 60s. They did that right before they started developing the AK-74. And then all the AK-74s really followed suit with this. This is, I would guess, uh, in their sort of equivalent of a PMAG, but it's a pretty cool little artifact. And it's definitely lightweight, but pretty, pretty durable and pretty strong. Kind of a plasticky glass kind of combo that they've come up with in the way that they've they've invented the things on their firearms so pretty cool little thing so again let's get to shooting this and and i'm probably going to take this off i like when i'm shooting bench rest i like shooting just a little I'm talking speaking about it, it was just a little p mag it's just shorter and, and it's something that i can i can get on with my with my rest here and and all of that so let's see if we can get this corrected uh, i am going to try out a new camera setup so hopefully we'll be able to see if and when i i hit on target and so on and so forth so let's get going I do have five rounds loaded up, I've got the optic. I know it's pretty off and so I hope I can find paper in 100 yards. If not, I'll skip through all of that and, and we'll resume when, when I'm able to get it to that point. So let's get to firing and get this thing going. All right. So before I, before I get uh, back into talking about where I am accuracy-wise, I will just want to comment on that ALG uh, trigger. It is really pretty light, um, maybe even a little bit lighter than I want, but one of the things I do like about it, there's just a little bit of play. I'll have to get this over, but there is just a little bit of play, and then that trigger goes, like, I don't know, a little bit, and then boom. It's a lot lighter, it's a lot shorter, like that makes it better for shooting groups, but it may be too light for what you want to do. So just be aware of that. All right, well, I think we got it sighted in. Uh, yeah, this thing doesn't have a problem. So if any of you out there are thinking, gosh, my, my reticle is stuck, you know, check your mount. Um, you probably already know that. Again, 
for newer people, newer shooters, what the heck's going on? You know, check underneath it, see if there's any debris that's preventing the, the site from being leveled properly, especially if you've had to remount it. Make sure that air, the surface is completely clear. Um, I don't know how I looked over that, but I did. Uh, mistakes happen, and, and now that I've done that, I've got plenty of room left and right on this site, and it's sighted in at 100 yards. Again, I want to get it for this reticle sighted in at 50 yards, but that range wasn't available to me today. So what I'm just going to end on is uh, test firing this bake light. Hopefully it works. Haven't shot it in this, and then I'm going to be trying to hit some steel out at 100 yards. So let's see how that goes. Try to use my... <laughs> it's a little warm. Ooh, first shot. Not that time. There we go. There we go. There we go. We got the smaller one. All right, I just put a few rounds in. Bake light seems to work great. Super excited about that. Super excited that I found it. They're not easy to find these days. Happy about the reticle. I think we got this thing starting to run how I want it to run. And uh, let me know what you think. Please uh, put your thoughts in the comments below. Please put your corrections. Please let me know what you think, how I can improve. Appreciate everybody's support. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.